Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is Troy with DDM's Realm, and I've got another video for you for the summer festival that's going on. We have the water battle that's coming up here in a few minutes, and for this event, you are going to get in a big water fight with a bunch of other people. So for this, if you haven't been down here already, check out the picnic grounds area with these big bales of hay and stuff like that, and kind of get an, an idea for the layout of it. And kind of see you're going to run around, and you're going to get points for hitting other players, and you're going to lose points for being hit. You're going to collect ammunition when you're inside there, and once it starts, I will uh, show you what we have. And, um, but, the ammunition you pick up inside of the fairgrounds, you'll use up, and then you'll be out of ammo. You have to run around and find something else. One of the big things that you can spend some of your pedals on, or over here at the pedal store, is endless uh, water weapons, basically. So there is the bottomless water skin. This is the one that's like the water balloon, so when you throw it, it will hit a circular area. Um, but with this, it's endless, so you can go ahead and throw it on your hotbar, run around, nail people, and you're not going to have to worry about it. All right, the endless bucket of water hits a bigger area, which is kind of nice, but it has a longer delay on it. If you see, that has a six, that has an eight. So you can maybe hit some more people with it. It's a little harder to dodge, but the resplash or the <laughs> the the recharge timer there is a little bit longer. And then the decanter endless water has the longest one, but it's pretty cool. It shoots out a big line of water in front of you. I think it probably hits the biggest area and is the best way and easiest way to ambush people with it. Um, so the bottomless water skins and the decanters both spawn inside of there. So you can pick them up, throw them on your hotbar. Um, or you can come in here if you have enough pedals, you really like that event and you want to uh, be better at it and not have to worry about ammo. You can go ahead and grab these. As that event is, um, before that event gets going, I always like to come over here, make sure you're ready for the event. So to do that, I am going to go into my inventory and I'm not going to need any of my potions or my other stuff here. Um, so I'm going to actually pull out my hotbar stuff. So as I pick up the ammo, it'll automatically load. So I'm going to keep an eye on where that loads up. Uh, if you don't have it already loaded, you can go ahead and move it like everything else. But if you go into the water fight with these empty, bam, you're ready to pick up stuff. You don't have to worry about moving it in the middle of a fight. Because remember, if you're hit with water, your score will go down. Um, so it's important that you have a positive score on this one so you can get some better rewards. Like the other events, you can get the you will have the best rewards for first place and second place, but these events happen so frequently, and you can go to each one and get it. You're really working hard to get first and second isn't that important. What's really the most important is that you just rank for it, so you get rewards. And like you, you can get four rewards an hour plus some of this other stuff that you can do. Um, you will be able to get as many ingredients and petals and items from the summer event as you want especially if you have some time just to hang out here for a couple hours a day you know if you want to get crazy and get everything it is definitely possible so i don't have any ammo in here so i'm actually not going to be at the very entrance i'm going to sneak back here to the back corner where we were farming our uh, trolls and kind of be back here so when it starts I can collect some ammo in peace without getting hit now for this one I actually like to have my paranoid delusion out which you know I like to have out most of the time but it's actually helpful as a very much a decoy as we run around alrighty so for this one it's a lot trickier to consistently rank high depending on who has what alright so we just uh, picked it up so here's some buckets of water I will pick up some water buckets that's going to be number four. Let's see how they're loading up for me. So let's try some decanters. So they all have the little red spots, and it is fairly easy to dodge if, <laughs> if you see it coming, and depending on your class. So here's some water bottles, or water balloons, I'll pick those up. So 
it's important to always keep moving here. If you hold still, you will get hit. See, look at that, walk right into it. So if you're looking and seeing where people are running and mostly fighting, you can use the decanter to kind of hit that area. So I tend to go AFK in this area, and people milk their points off. If you want to be generous, you can definitely do that. But quite the water battle going on here. So with this one, definitely want to just keep moving, especially when all your timers are going. So you see you have the little edges here, you can escape these edges to uh, jump on out. Now obviously I have not spent a lot of time on this one. Or I just don't have the knack of it, maybe. That's where the endless one seems so nice, because I've wasted all this time going after ammo and losing ranks here. And some classes have that nice dodging ability they can get out of here. This particular class, my uh, paladin here, is not, <laughs> not the best. Slow anyway, on top of has no dodging out of the way ability. He's meant to take it, and he certainly does for these, this event. So if you saw get hit there, become waterlogged, and you kind of get dazed and you can't use your stuff. So I came in here for the attack and was <laughs> getting nailed. <laughs> too big and too slow. Paybacks for owning the slaughter event. Alright, so I've got one point. I'm actually going to jump out of here because I am losing ground here. So at one point I can make sure I can rank. There is no way I'm going to rank for this. With this particular event, not having any endless things, I am not going to be able to do well. Um, <laughs> not even close. But that gives you the idea of what to do as you come in here for this water fight. It's a pretty fun, lighthearted event. Get those endless uh, items so you can keep on fighting the whole time. You don't have to run off for ammo. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, throw me a subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And become a patron. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Re I really do appreciate the support. All right, till the next video. Play smarter, not harder.